Uh, welcome back. For today's lecture, which is lecture 10, we're talking about chain drive. Huh? To understand chain drive, we have to understand two sub assembly. I'm going to write the name of the assembly here. It's called roller link assembly. And another assembly called the ping link assembly. They came together. Like, uh, soon you will realize what I meant by that, but just allow the two names to sing in first. And let me elaborate on the roller link assembly first. Huh? The roller assembly first you must have, you will have a bushing. And I'm drawing a bushing here. Bushing. And there's another one over here, similarly same size and shape for just one link. Huh? That's a bushing. Now uh, to ensure that we know that it's going to be round, I'm going to put in this center line. And this one also. I'm going to stand the center line because uh, you will realize it later why I do that. Huh? The center line there. Now on the outside of the bushing, rolling onto the bushing here, you will have the roller. That's the roller. So let me name it here so and to hold this bushing in place uh, so that they come as a stable member you will have a end plate the end plate here And then below you have another piece of the end plate. Otherwise, it will not be hold in place. Huh? Now the interesting part now appears now right beneath this one, where this hole of the bushing you have right same size here. There's a pin. The pin has a longer end or the other end. Huh? I'm going to put it there. There's a pin there. And the pin is on this side linking the bushing. And the other one over, over here. Huh? So basically, uh, there's no pin here. There's no pin here. Only one. Huh? This is a link, but there's no pin here. The pin is over here. And to hold the pin apart. Huh? You again have an plate. And the end plate has to come as a pair, huh? the bottom and the top. In case I confuse you, you need to know that this plate is over on the outside here. It's outside here. This whole thing just goes inside here. This plate is at the bottom here. Now to ensure that the plate doesn't move, doesn't gain dislodge, there is this little thing called the cotter pin. And this is called the cotter pin. Oh, I forgot to name the parts. Of the other one, let me do it that now. This is the pin, and we have the end plate. Now, oh, I forgot to name this as end plate too. Now, 
Now, while they are two M plates, uh, they are different. Uh, so they have to be identified differently. And since this is on the outside, outside we call it M plate outer. And this will be M plate inner. They are not the same M plate, uh, not the same size. This one has the bushing diameter, whereas this only has the pin post diameter. Uh. Now, uh, to put all the parts in place, let's reiterate the thing. For the roller link assembly, you should have two M plate, two M plates outer, two rollers, and two bushings. So these are the composite members for that. And for the link link assembly, pin link assembly, you will have two pins. Again, two M plate. Oh, sorry, this is two M plates inner. And this is two M plates outer. And this will have a two copper pins. Now, uh, this brings me the end of this video. I uh, will see you in the next video.